watch the Oscars and I'm seeing Chris Rock, you know, being um, his uh, bombastic being a comedian, uh, staying in, and Will Smith being an asshole up and disrespect all the actors, disrespect the, the sanctity of the Oscars and slap the guy in the face. What the fuck was he thinking? I mean, it, it just like pure ego. Yeah, but what the fuck are you thinking? It almost makes you think it was a setup. Me too. But then when I saw Chris Rock started to play, you know, right? What was you that? watched the unedited version? When he, yeah, I saw that, and when he started swearing, which was a, two seconds later, you knew that it wasn't a gag. Well, you know, you, I, I, I think personally they should take the Oscar back from him. I agree. The fact I think let him my personal thing. The fact that they let him sit there while he just committed a felony and then get an award and then be allowed to talk with the longest Oscar acceptance speech in history where he's like apologizing to everyone. I will not watch another movie with him again as long as they live. I always thought he was good. And I did see, I did see the movie, um, where, you know, where he was the father of the two tennis stars. And it was a, an incredible movie, an incredible performance. But I will not, like after that, and, and kudos, kudos to Chris Rock. Unbelievable. For, for being a man. He held it together and he kept going after that. Yeah, kudos to Chris, Chris, Chris Rock. I mean, you know, any other guy would have just fucking turned around and smashed Will Smith in the fucking head. Yeah, that's what I, I would have thought. Like, I would have been, it was like, what the hell are you doing, man? Yeah. And he, he kept it together. He answered back and said, hey, it's a G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> you know, like, he, and then he continued to give this award out. Like, I just went, what is happening here? Yeah. But I, I, just, I just think that the Oscars should take back their Oscar. They never will. They won't do that. No, they're, they won't. It's like they have no morality. It's all, uh, it's, it's all show You know what, Frank, when I was a little kid growing up in Saskatoon, I loved watching the Oscars. And I was watching some of the old acceptance speeches after the Will Smith incident. The next morning I watched like Dustin Hoffman getting his award for Kramer vs. Kramer and the way they would present them back in the, those days. And it makes you cry it was so moving. Yeah. And, and what they've got now is just this, it's a cage match. Well, it's too bad because they're, it's degenerating a, a great industry and the respect for a great award has been diminished by Will Smith and his actions. No kidding. And, you know, what's really a shame is that there were some really important awards given that night. Nobody remembers. The first deaf movie that got an award that won Best Oscar against all the odds. And the, the, the woman who won for West Side Story, who's, you know, openly queer and, and uh, Puerto Rican, you know, like Afro, Afro-Latino. And, I mean, there were sort of some amazing things that happened that night nobody will ever remember. No. Because of stupid Will Smith. Well, you know, I wouldn't go that, I wouldn't dramatize the night to that extent. You know, it's, 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 you know, it wasn't, you know, uh, there's been a lot of moments in the Oscars where George C. Scott went up there and said, fuck off. Well, we remember Rando, that. Instead of getting his Oscar, somebody went up to, to, to preach about the, the, the injustices, which is, I'm on, I was on the side of the Aboriginal uh, natives of uh, North America. Well, that was Martin, Marlon Brando who did that. He said, yes, that's right. Marlon Brando and, and George C. Scott went up and told everybody to fuck off. And then, well, the next year, Scott, no, first year, Scott won for Patton and refused the award. And, ha- and I forget what happened. The second time, the next year, Brando won and sent up that woman to... Yeah, and, 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 and you know, because the Oscars is probably one of the biggest stages. So what I'm trying to say is that there's been controversy in the Oscars, but there's never been that kind of fucking stupid, egotistical, narcissistic oh, violence. Yeah, this, is un- this is unprecedented. You know, it's not like it was about any award. It was about Will Smith's, you know, ego. Yeah. And I talked to a lot of friends of mine who know people that were there, and 90% of the people thought it was a spoof, just like uh, Bill said. Yeah. 
Allah would have never believed in their lives that anybody would be stupid enough to get up, walk up on stage, and slap another actor in the face. Now, they asked, uh, they asked um, uh, if he wanted to press charges, and he said no. They said in one of the articles that I was reading that she, uh, whatever her name was, Will Smith's wife, she had suffered from alopecia. Yeah. Which I, I, do you know what that is? is? Yeah, but who cares? Well, who gives a fuck? It's a, all he said because she had her head shaved, right? Uh, yeah. She could be, to, to play the, the sequel to uh, the, the movie that was uh, the... With no, Jane, what was it? Uh, no, that was an insult to her, really. I mean, Demi Moore oh, it was, was a joke. It was a fucking joke. Yeah, it joke. yeah. It was a joke. And that's what I. That's why, Frank, there were three people in on the joke. The wife, uh, Chris. Uh, well, it was a joke, but it was a joke. It was G.I. Jane Part Two. It was. It was a joke. Yeah. No question. It was a fucking joke. I don't understand whether you don't find it funny or not. You don't have the fucking right to go up and slap a guy in the fucking face, or don't be in the, in the public eye if you if fuck if it's so so somebody should have slapped Don Rickles in the face a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to you? I know what you're saying to me, but I mean there are people. Let's say there's I don't know what how many viewers were, but I'll bet they were split at least one third to two thirds saying this was a joke. 100 percent. Apparently, the ratings... I thought it was a joke until I saw the unedited, uh, um, edited version. It's clear it's not a joke. It's a. It, it was not a joke. Yeah. It's clear. Okay. I. And I and Chris Rock is is a mensch for not turning around and fucking hit him in the head. No kidding. But Chris Rock then was you know came back with another joke and just relaxed. I mean, I can't believe how well he held it together. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I could have done that. I mean, this, this guy, this guy... But Chris Rock had both his arms down because he felt that he was either going to come and hug him or he, he never expected a slap. Yeah. In fact, he was laughing as uh, Will Smith approached because he thought it was funny, you know, like it yeah. was like he was trying to wag his finger in his face or something like that, you know? 